All right, and they should need this imprint pretty fast. One second on this one, and uh, you want cooked meat? Okay, I could get that. Mm, Verberry. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and welcome back to episode thirty-two of Ark Service, and then here on the Center series. And episode twenty-seven, we actually teamed up three owls. But I've been busy with the base build. I've been busy with um, a cementing base, or not cementing base, a cementing uh, paste is what I meant to say, gathering video. And then we did the base build, and then we did the cave. Because, and then after that, we lost our loot because of the cave. So then I had to go and do a bunch of drop hunting last episode. And now I finally get to kind of, you know, mess with the aloes a little bit. So, off of the batch we got, we only team three. They were completely, really, really bad sets. But I still want to combine them all to try to get at least an, imprint, uh, an imprinted one here today. Because these are just the wild ones. So what I did off camera... Oh, I had them breeding. Um, I, I actually didn't mean to do that. Let me get back up here. But I had them breeding. Um, and I bred up these two here you see in front of me. So this one had that melee right there in the oxygen with that weight. So I bred those up and I got a new one, which is just over here. Um, and I'll put these guys away really quickly. Uh-huh. There and there. So then after that, I got this one right here. So weight, or yeah, melee weight and oxygen. In, and then this one I already had, but this one needed to be bred up. Uh, this is the 180, the only 180 I tamed, I think, um, which had the health, stam, and food, sadly. Oh, I can't wait, honestly, to get a better Trank Rifle. I did get a comment last episode um, that the Pearl Cave actually, actually has pretty good, you know, chance of getting the BPs off that for the long neck. And I was already thinking about that. So, like, I was like, I'm going to breed up aloes and I want to do the caves. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Um... I think you guys saw it last episode, which I had recorded yesterday, I think. Um, this is the Pearl Cave right here. And then there's one of, these are the artifact caves that I kind of put, you know, the artifacts. So this one has one artifact, this one has two, and this one has two, I believe. So it's two, four, five, and then six artifacts. No, maybe maybe one of these only has one. So maybe it's two, four, five, and six. I don't even know. My math isn't adding up. I thought one of them had two. So one, two. I, I didn't mean to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. I'm, I'm think, I'm pretty sure it's a snow one that has two of the artifacts I need. I don't know why my math wasn't adding up. <laughs> I was like, wait, it is almost six a.m. I've been up for close to twelve hours now. Um, but I was busy doing some stuff, and then, mm, what's it called? I did that in wipe last episode, so I was kind of just going around the map and making sure stuff was actually spawning into the deep ocean into some of the other spots into the swamp because I want that Asukas very soon. Um, actually, that's is something I actually made some more kibble. I'm sitting at 46 extraordinary kibble right now. Um, I made a little bit, but I didn't want to make too much because I don't have the thingy right now. The actual cookery. <laughs> also, look at how many deaths happened last episode. I think I edited maybe five or six deaths out of the video just so the video wouldn't be too, too long in the cave. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> you saw a lot of it if you saw last episode. Um, but we did get the artifact. The artifact is sitting right here and mm, we should go back for that that's not supposed to be in there that's <clears throat> supposed to be right there give me one quick second all right i had to burp and i didn't want to burp on camera um what's it called but yeah we were breeding up these two for a while off camera kind of while i've been here at the base doing whatever and i have a bunch of babies and i believe i spotted a pretty high level one um and it might be the one so i i had probably double of this um at one point i got rid of them because i saw like the, the levels weren't even close to this it was probably like like here, so I think 260s. It was a while ago now. I'm also breeding my direwolf, so I don't have any new mutations. Um, even though I, I think I already have enough mutations. These are all mutated direwolves right here. Um, yeah, so this one has some green, different shade of green, that yellowy look. Um, those are just feet. I will probably put them all out soon and see what I like. That's a pretty cyan, um, but it's on the. It's actually on the body, I think. Like on the stripe. Hmm, interesting. But I, all these are mutated. That's a nice green too. I, I still don't know what I want, but I just want to make a cool one as far as colors before I end the series. The purple's not bad. Um, what's it called? But yeah, we have them in here, and the stats I'm looking for. Oh, let me bring this up quickly. There you go. I have it on my notes over here. Um, so I'm just gonna look at the highest level, pretty much, which is which is this one. So it goes from lowest level all the way into the highest levels that's why i always scroll down um the highest levels would always be back here but no nothing um and so this would be right there 292 
And so we're looking for 4626. Yep, on the health. Um, 1725 Sam. I believe that's about the same. Um, sometimes it doesn't say the correct, but it's one off. And I think once you actually pop that out, it is. That's also the right oxygen at 825 as well. Probably not written right. Um, 19659. That has higher food. That sometimes it, it rounds up. It's a little weird. That, that has higher food than what I have written down. The 855 is the good, um, what's it called, weight as well. And the melee is 356.3. That is actually our, our perfect for right now. Our temporary perfect. Uh, that's a female. Let me quickly look and see. I'm just kind of 356. This is just missing the food. And that's it. Okay, that's fine. I'm probably just going to, uh, what's it called? Grow up these two really quickly. Or not really quickly. It takes like an hour. Um, ish. <laughs> but in the meantime, I could probably just go and gather some resources or whatnot. Oh, you're kind of cute. Um, actually, yeah, let's look at it outside in the actual daylight, I guess, really quickly before I leave him in the base. Um, number one. And then this one's in my inventory. Well, that one looks just, just like the other one. Wait. Oh, this one looks kind of nice. The blue and, and wait, look at this. Because like this, uh, let me go ahead and do that again. This one, well, that one has this one's blue, but the green back instead of the green body. That actually looks really pretty. Gosh, actually the baby yellow looks freaking beautiful. I actually have, haven't seen one in ASA yet. The baby ones. Very, very pretty. Yeah, they got a, they got a, <laughs> they got a very thick, uh, what's it called? Middle area. Or so, what would that be called? Um, but anyways. I'm probably just going to grow these up. No imprint, no nothing. And then if, I, unless I get, honestly, I wouldn't mind, unless I get, mm, unless I get one of these, but I kind of like this one's colors already. I'll probably just grow, grow them up and then try to get another one with probably this. Uh, the missing food though, I don't really care for that. Honestly, I don't because these are temporary ones. I want to go into him like another 10 before I get like an actual batch that I want just for good stats. But I'm going to let these guys grow up. And I'll meet you guys back probably in a second. In the meantime, I'm probably just going to gather some metal in the ocean. Maybe. Mm, that's probably it. Maybe a little bit of crystal. Nothing crazy. I'll probably show you a little bit maybe. Or if not, I'll show you how much I get. Just because I need a bunch of metal pretty much. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll meet you back once these are fully grown. They're already 5 or 6%. So they're growing pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. So this shouldn't take too, too long. But yeah, I'll meet you back in a quick second, yeah? All right, and I'm actually here in the snowbound, but I actually want to mention something. I forgot to tell you guys about a setting I changed, or was planning on changing, but I just changed it. When I went caving last episode and whatnot, I kind of realized my health was maybe too much. So I have adjusted uh, the setting, um, the, what's it called, stat per, per, like, point added. I had it at 1.5, and now I should only get, yeah, I think I was getting, like, 25 instead of and now i'm just getting like what was that 10 was that 10 i think so that's not too bad um that's a little bit more normal or not 10 20 i believe i forgot dude what did it say i don't know why i'm i'm just like forgetting stuff right now mm, let's get a little bit more of that but yeah here's where i gather a bunch of metal it's just this snow mountain right here and it's a bunch of crystal i mean i actually don't gather a bunch of metal here's where i was actually hitting these metal rocks in uh, for getting all my stone with my dodickers and it was giving me about um on the good nodes that you could hit him twice 700 metal per and then on the uh, ones it was like a few hundred it was more than normal stone rocks uh so i was just kind of mining metal for that but yeah i'm gonna mine a bit of crystal a bit of a bit of metal i was gonna say so um and then i'll meet you back probably at the raft um because i did put my raft uh like right here next to this island it's like where i like to park it um I got my little bodyguards. Oh gosh, I still can't for, dude. Or I still can't believe I got a really pretty Anki. Like this thing's beautiful. It really is. Um, but yeah. There's all a bunch of metal. Like this is a normal rock, normal. But this is clearly metal rock. Um, metal, metal, metal. And this, this is like really, really a bunch of metal. Um, that's what it kind of showed off. Look at all these metal road nodes right here. All this. I went across all that, and you know some here. Like uh, this one's a metal node. There's this, this one's a metal node, this one's a metal node. All this back here is metal. And then on the cliffs below as well, there's metal. So I'm going to gather that. And I might also actually toss my, um, my what's it called? 
my mutated direwolves here in a bit on the ground. Um, once it goes, once I get back to the base and whatnot. And actually look at the colors, because I haven't really looked at them. I've kind of just seen them mutated, and I'm, like, I'm just like, okay, throw them in the box. Throw them in the box. So we might take a look at them, but nothing crazy, you know? Just just a little looksies. But yeah, I'll meet you back. back. I can't speak tonight, holy moly. I'll meet you back in a quick second, hopefully at the raft once I'm done gathering all this stuff. So I might make multiple trips, and if I do, I'll meet you back once I'm done with all those trips. Just because I'm almost full on wheat, but it's probably this, yeah. And the crystal. Mm, okay. Yeah, meet you back in a quick sec, yeah. Also, actually, really quickly, um, I just put the crystal in my RNG. But a lot of this will be for the uh, industrial stuff. So, like, um, the big forge, the cooker, and the, the chem bench. But also, I want a bunch of fridges as well, which I still don't have, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, it's mostly the polymer, I believe. It's just the, what's it called? You keep clicking there. A uh, fridge? I don't know. I don't know why if you put a space in there, it just doesn't come up at all. Um... Yeah, it's just mostly been the polymer, but it also requires metal, of course. So I'm, I'm going to get all this metal. I'm going to get all this crystal. I might make a few trips here and there. And then I'll show you everything that I've got afterwards. Yeah, that way we can see kind of how much I got up here in this little one one mountain. <laughs> Quickly, I just want to mention, I saw this this island or not this island. This mountain is so good. Like you can see the metal gathering right here below me. It's not that much per rock, but there's so many rocks that check this out. <laughs> I've got a few thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's easily 3,000 quick metal right there. That's not too bad. I actually meant to go probably a little bit more weight before I go melee. Um, but it, like I said, there's a little bit more metal in like the underneath layer here. I know for a fact. Um, let me see if I can show you really quickly. Yeah, like right there. Right there. Um, There. And then like over there too. And I will be gathering that as well. But yeah, I just... Oh yeah, this is also oil. Check this out. <clears throat> Mm hmm which i don't know why it's floating but you know it is oil not too bad yeah we're gonna have more metal than we could ever want um which is very very nice i haven't had this much metal in this series yet at all i don't think so worth doing for sure all right and i just finished putting a little bit of metal the first metal but i saw this and i was like oh it's such a pretty dentist right that's a 168 <laughs> i mean no where it is cool <laughs> so one of the newer episodes not newer and like one or two episodes if you see me starting the episode here you know why <laughs> you know why i would like to tame a few a little something i just spotted i spotted two 174s in the last like you know two days and i know i'm keeping track of where they are for when i go and tame some um so don't you worry you will probably see them back at one point on the youtube <laughs> i'm keeping track of these guys for sure and this one's here and another one is like where was it? I think it was like right here. I left it in the video anyways for that purpose. Mm, it might be full. No, but it actually broke it. it nice. But yeah, I'm almost done with this. All right. I have good news. I have bad news. I just got back to the raft with the metal stuff. Here's how much metal I have. Good news is that I have more resources, more than, more than enough metal I will have that I probably don't need to get any more metal, at least until I have the big forge. Um, and here's the crystal i got in a little bit of oil bad news if you look closely right there at the allosaurus baby allosaurus check this out uh let me go over here here you see right here that it's his last 8 34 minutes ago um time until adolescent yeah that hasn't changed since i left the base so because i'm on single player most likely it's not loading it in and yeah that's a maybe so they're probably still technically like juveniles and yeah <laughs> So I'm going to head back, and then I'm probably just going to AFK. But I'll show you if they are still babies. That's a little bit sad, because I wanted to, you know, do two in one. Kind of go out. By the time I come back, hopefully them being grown up. But that's completely fine. I understand. And that's all max, or uh, 174 racks. Uh, 168 um, Danisukas. So, and a bunch of metal that I'm bringing back. So that's not too, too bad. I'm going to have to make, like, four more forges. So just, just so I can smelt this kind of quickly. But that's no problem. I'll do that, of course. Yeah, I'll meet you back in a quick second little bit of music oh i keep falling off these because i keep jumping um but what's it called i just what's it called boys man that's okay i just put some what's it called spark potter and made these four just go and so all of these will have about that much metal in them right now that much um and i made it four four yeah because i had one so we should have what is this three four five six yeah so now i just need to light these all up and they will do their own thing behind the scenes good thing 
these did grow up, but I don't think they actually were eating off the trough. So they're healing. They're healing kind of fast. So this one looks very bad. <laughs> I almost didn't think it had an eye for a second. But yeah, they just pretty much what they're called. They weren't eating, but yeah, they grew up. So that's huge. I, I know they can at least do that, which is nice. Um, I don't know why they weren't eating though. I did just wipe some stuff off of this. I don't know why I got that many. I'm confused. I swear I just did this. That's cool. Um, I will probably throw all these babies down on the ground in a quick second. Um, just for the purposes of while these two breed in a second. But I will put these guys away in a quick second as well. Give me a quick second to sort everything out really quickly, yeah? Alright, and honestly, I didn't think I had this many, many mutations on the dire wolves as I did. But I put out the ones that are the main body first. And then I'll put out the other ones. So, <laughs> here it is. Alright. So, purple is okay. Blue. I actually really like that orange. Um, that blue is actually prettier than the other blue. I prefer this one than that one. Yeah. Um, purple's okay. That these. Mm, see, okay. This green is pretty. This green's pretty, 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 ugly. But I like this. That green is pretty. Oh yeah. Okay. This red's actually kind of nice. I don't care for that. I don't care for that. And I don't care for that. So now. What I'm going to do, there's my gun, and I don't care for where my thing's at. Oh, I put everything, I put my stuff away. Actually, I have a bunch load of stuffs in here. There you go. Cool. Um, so I don't care for you, don't care for you, don't care for you, don't care for you. But you're kind of cool. That green is pretty ish. Mm. Realistically, I do like the cyan more. Uh, that's okay. Even that's a lot of colors. What's the difference between these two? This one is prettier? Yes. Do I want a red one? See, I'm not going to use all these colors, right? I'm kind of just looking at what I want to actually toss permanently right now. And... I'm sorry. Purple's pretty. I, it is. Um, but I just don't care for that completely. So, I'm just going to do the evil thing and kill all. There you go. Bam, gone. And, and now, these are the ones I'm left with, with. So let me just put these guys away. Why am I out of all? Oh. Um, and I'm going to put out the other mutations on like legs and then the like stripe on the back as well. Um, so it would be this stripe and then the feet. So yeah, just give me one quick second for that. Yeah. All right. And here are the mutations. So these are all feet mutations on here, as you can see. And these are all the back stripe, like I mentioned. Hmm. I don't know what I like better out of those two. I don't know if I like this blue either. This one? Mm, I definitely don't like that. I don't like that. Don't like that. That's how I am. These two are kind of pretty. I don't like the red. That's too bright. That's too bright, yeah. Okay. Um. And as far as feet goes. Don't care for red. Don't care for this. Don't care for that. I don't know what that is. Don't care. The greenish. Like brown. That blue's actually not bad. Mm. And I can't tell what that one is. Okay. Let me go ahead and put them in a better spot, those guys, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's still really hard to tell some of these colors. Uh like this one I think is brown. I can't it, this one might be green. Um so let's put this one away really quickly. Yeah, it's like a very like dark green. What is it? what is you? Um, yeah, that one's brown. I think this one's green as well. Like I said, what is you? Yeah, green. Don't care for that. I think the only feet one I like is one of these two. Yeah. And also, I almost I accidentally deleted these the good guys. Uh, so I'm going to have to find a spot for them really quickly. I was like, wait. So in temporary, I put the other guys over here to the ones I did want to toss. Um, but yeah, just give me a quick second to sort everything out. All right, and a few things to talk about really quickly is, remember how I said I had all these materials really quickly? Let me just see how many walls these, um, they're called stone large walls I can make. So I'm just going to pull for like maybe 500. I can, I can make that. So they're going to be making there. Um, let's skip these babies really quickly, and then I'll talk about them really quickly. But uh, these other ones did make it perfect to mail, which I have right here. Um, so I just need to let it grow up. I did give it food. 
Uh, it looks a little different from the other one. I think this one has... What was... I think it's missing the orange, right? From this one. Like the orange on their belly or whatever. Yeah, from this one. Yeah, so it's a mix of both of these, I think. I'm pretty sure. I think. Or is it more like that one? Wait. Mm, that's green. I think it's just like this one. Um, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I, I still have these guys, uh, what's it called? Going in there just, yeah, like this is right here, another perfect, uh, a temporary perfect is what I'm calling them just cause you won't like, I want their, that level to get a little higher before I actually get serious with that. Um, but an imprinted one for now will, do, will be very nice. On top of that, like I said, I'm making walls and what I'm pretty much going to do is just going to add a bunch of walls down here. Uh, though in that like corner, hmm. honestly, let me cheat fly so I can explain this really quickly. Um, right here, this, I might actually, uh, ooh, look an arc on, on something, dude, thingy. Um, I might actually put a behemoth gate right here in the middle. Um, and then kind of have it a little bit rise with a ramp going up. Um, that way I could fit my raft through there and instead get rid of that one. Maybe, maybe that could be an idea. Um, yeah, that way you just kind of, you go straight in, bark up and whatnot. But, um, yeah, we'll see how much of these, um, uh, yeah, we'll also see really quickly. Actually, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to actually go over here. I, I meant to you could see it, my dental. I just wanted to show that off really quickly. Um, but yeah, we have that guy growing up, and hopefully, we get a few perfects in between that. I have these babies here, which I actually really like a, a lot of the colors. Um, how much stone do I still have? A good amount. Uh, I did also take like twenty thousand stone, I think, to the main base up up top. Uh, so yeah, forty three. Mm. Yeah, that took about a hundred k, I think, ish. Yeah, a lot of these walls are making, they're very, very heavy. That's the only bad part. Um, besides that, let's quickly just show off some of these babies one more time. Uh, so this one isn't my favorite one. I think it has to be between these three colors. And I say three because two of them are orange, just different shades of orange. Um, so this orange, this orange, and then this like green, dark green looks very nice. And of course, the cyan is freaking beautiful. And on top of these guys, I like this green. This one's okay. I love this one. I don't know about the red. I also like this green. The cyan's okay on that. Uh, and then these are the feet. They're different shades. I'm kind of leaning towards either the darker or yeah, the darker blue, or if not, just leaving them with the black feet, which they already have. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Hard to tell. You, you, what I actually realize is interesting. Because you see how like that blue goes up all the way up like the leg. Though this blue right here goes like halfway down, which is a little interesting. I wonder how that looks like when two colors like that collide. Like, mm -hmm. interesting. I don't know. I had never really paid attention to that. But yeah, I, I kind of like this darker orange a little bit more, kind of, maybe. But at the same time, when I look at this one, it's kind of nice. We shall see. But these right now, I'm just going to let them grow up. I have a bunch of um, food in the, what's it called? In the feeding trough. I talked about this feeding trough, I think, episode 30-ish at the start of this. It's technically a tech trough, though I haven't done any bosses yet. Um... But it's an A refrigerated trough, so it's the automatic arc um, feeding trough, and it's very cheap. The, but the only thing I care about it is the range, which is almost as large as my whole base. Like, it almost leads all the way out here. Very, very large. That's the only reason I have it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly let these guys grow up. I'm going to put some walls over here. Like I said, probably pretty much first, I want to make this first layer. I don't care about the inner layer right now. Make that go all the way to the ground. Uh, let me see. Oh, wrong one. Of course, I did the wrong one. Uh, so have these walls go all the way down. And hopefully I can get a good amount of that with 500 walls. So I'll probably show you the progress on that on these walls while I do this off camera real quick. Um, so yeah, do you think, that how, how much do you think this is actually going to go? The 500 walls. It's not going to go the whole way, I'll tell you that. But I do think it'll get a good amount. I do think so. So, yeah, let me meet you back in a quick second once I'm done with these walls. And, you know, like I said, these guys will grow up. The aloe will grow up. And either way, these uh, that one is breeding with that one. So we do have chance of perfects already. Um, and, of course, uh, any 294, I'll grow up and actually imprint them. Right now, I just want the perfect male and female. Um, but after that, I will actually imprint the others. Um, but, yeah, wall time. Let me go ahead and just, you know, do that. But that's boring. So you, you guys don't need to see that. I'll show you the after. Yeah. All right, well, um, the aloe was fully grown up for like an hour and a half now. Same with the direwolves. I did put the direwolves away. Um, I've been building a lot. <laughs> I got. I kind of just had to take over for a little bit. Um, 
Just because I was seeing how good it looked. Also, um, I, I put these guys in here. These are the devils that I have. And also, just a quick look. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of babies. But first, I want to show the wall that I made. The dino enclosure um, finished product, maybe? Possibly? Question mark. Not finished, but you know. Um, I used up all the walls. Or is it finished? You might ask. <laughs> I used about every wall i believe it was roughly about all of them um i didn't make any extras besides like um the normal walls to fit like in the little pieces but yeah the hard part was this right here this and i went ahead and already did it and i think it looks insanely cool check this out let's go ahead and go like up here maybe up here actually Ooh, that looks nice like this mm -hmm. i like the way this looks and I added this little little roof piece right here. This uh, sub wall looks very nice. Uh, I also did a little bit of like quarter wall stuff, so then you could walk up here without seeing the actual dino gate thingy, um, like the stuff that goes up right here. Like it would look like a little bit like the ceiling. Um, I didn't like that because then it would look made out of stone. But yeah, on this side it looks a little weird because of this and that. Um, but once we have walls, if we ever get to that point, because this took all my stone pretty much. Check this out um not all of it i don't think oh wrong one um but pretty much to where you could see it right here yeah it, it took up a lot but i actually enclosed it all the way so this is completely safe at least i think um i haven't actually had anything spawn in here but my raft is fully safe in here now um and this looks insanely cool and i actually really want to try it out with my raft very very soon and the first time i do i will show it on camera the, I don't think it'll be until next episode. And the way I did this is... Actually, I gotta open it the other way. I am also cheat ghost, so I can't open things. Uh, didn't you fly? There you go. I should be able to open it. There you go. So what I did is... Right in the middle. Three foundations. So that this is... Yeah, one, two, three. So it's the middle one. And it looks really nice. I didn't look at any tutorials or anything. I kind of just already knew what I wanted to do for like a, a week and a half. I knew I wanted to go up with, um, what's it called, this. And then just have some stuff. And yeah, I put the pillars here, of course, as well. I think it looks pretty cool. But let's get on to some of the aloe stuff. Because I don't want this episode to be super long. So, we got our aloes right here. Um, actually, I don't even know what these aloes look like. Let's find out. Um, like, actually. I actually don't know. <laughs> so let me find out really quickly. So, yeah, these are um, the temporary perfect male and female. Um, are these actually same colors? Actually, they could be. I believe these are. I did see a few mutations already. Um, which is probably what I'll use for this pack because I don't care what they have. So let's go and take a look at them. Uh, I think for now, I set them off breeding and I will probably, I'll probably put them with my perfect direwolves. These are my perfect direwolves. So yeah, so perfect, perfect, perfect. And so I'll just set those. Oh yeah, we could see this. Um, 81, 87, 81, 87, 41, 41. Yeah, they're the same colors, which is nice for mutations. Um, but I don't care about that right now. Mm, what I care about slightly is what we got. So we got one mutation, one mutation, one mutation. Yeah, just three with mutations. I'm fine with a new pack of three, though, imprinting them. Um, so let me try to find out what this one has as a mutation. This one's a food mutation. Because it's at 20,047. Yeah. Yeah, it goes from that. Wait. Yeah, 47 plus 2. I, I forget that you can see in the middle roll. I know I'm pointing at my actual screen. In the middle roll, you see 0, 0, 0, and then you see 2. Um, so the best way. This is a melee mutation. Nice. It'll be my main. And another melee mutation. Are these twins? By any chance? They might be twins. We just got a, a double melee mutation. Okay. One has food. And the others don't have any... Um, and do I have any, I have that there with that, that, mm, I kind of don't care for these. Let's go ahead and toss that, get some XP going. And the level, yeah, 70, oh, I clicked that like three times, 70, 80. Yeah, it only goes up by 10. I think it was going up by like 15, maybe 20. I forget what it was going up by. I'm not going to Um, okay. So, hmm, where should I put these? I think for now, it's fine if I set them here. Baby number one. Baby number two. Baby number three. 
Oh, they kind of look the same. I see this one looks kind of different. Those two in the corner, I think, are the ones with the melee mutation, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to hopefully just wait until the 10, 11 minute mark, imprint them, and then bring you guys back before the next mark or whatever imprint. I don't know what their color mutation is. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to have to wait until they're fully grown to even see what they were. Because I was breeding this one or the one of those before the male or whatever with um with one of the one that was missing food or whatever um with where'd it go oh i think i put it like way over there oh no yeah i'm pretty sure i put it like way over here but at first i had two breeding because one was missing the food right so i left them breeding for like an hour um so i don't know what is from what i think i put it in here yeah so one might look like this so we'll compare it from that one and the other one. Um, and then we'll see if they actually have different colors or not. But two melee mutations and one food mutation? I mean, that's as perfect as it can get for right now. I'm going to imprint them. And I'll bring you back once they're ready to imprint and stuff. So yeah, we'll at least grow them up this episode. And then next episode, we can actually use them maybe. Depending on how long this gets, yeah? But I'll bring you guys back as soon as this is ready. All right, and they should need this imprint pretty fast. One second on this one, and... Uh, you want to cook meat? Okay, I could get that. Mmm, verberry. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, one of these and one of these. Yeah. Bam. I actually don't know how much this is going to imprint. Uh, okay, so, okay, that's clearly, okay, working. Man, I didn't, I did not mean to eat it, I swear. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm hungry. Whoopsies. Boom. And you want kibble. I can't get that. Uh, so we do have the setting enabled to where we could do this again. And now, regular kibble. You still want kibble. This? You're picking. Oh, I forget. Uh huh. -huh. And walk. Thank you. Let's go. I'm fine with a little walk. That's not too bad. E. All right. Meet you back for the second imprint. Yeah. The second and last. Actually, a quick little thing. Um, These are all done. I didn't mean to actually have these on. Wait. Put out. These are on? Or these are off? Yeah, they are. But these are all done. So I'm just going to pull the metal probably just here for now. Um, Metal ingot. Bam. And <laughs> I just pulled for 9,300 Hooked metal. Oh my. We need a Pelagornis. We might do that soon. Um, a Pelagornis and an Anglerfish. Just to have. But I don't have a freaking rifle anymore. Although a Pelagornis is at least not hard to knock out. Um, what is that? I keep seeing like a shade of like red on that hill from here. Yeah, right there. I think it's the horns. Yeah, it's like it's like motion blur. You see like right here? Yeah. Do I have that off? I don't know. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, that has to do with, like, the DLSS stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to wait, and I'll bring you guys back once these guys are ready for another imprint. All right, and two of them already want... Uh, this one wants walk. Perfect. And you want... Cooked fish. I have that, like, right here, I think, actually. Up here. Hold. I believe I have a bunch of it in here. Mmm, not in there. I cooked, um, like, a lot. Uh, where'd it go? Strange. Mm. Where did where did my cooked fish go? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, uh, that's fine. There it is. Did, did I already have one? I must have. The superior kibble you can't do that. Sorry. You're very kibble, or you're very um. Uh, what's it called? Not kibble. You're very picky with the wanting kibble. Look at that. <laughs> Why you want kibble? <laughs> Uh huh. Hey, kettle. And now you want the walk, right? And walk we go. Mm hmm. And. Hey, there it is. They are 100% imprint. They just need to grow up. And honestly, though, I think I should call it here. Not to be annoying and evil about what's it called. Uh, the YouTube video. I just don't like them getting over like 35 minutes long. Um, if you look at the, most of my videos, I, I've been kind of sticking like 33 to like 37-ish. Sometimes a little lower, sometimes a little more. It really just depends. But yeah, we 
we hopefully did it. I think I honestly, this is a very productive episode. We, um, we started by doing some breeding and some baby, you know, hatching, aka, you know, from their souls stuff. And then I went up to the snow biome, got a bunch of metal as you saw, a lot of it's cooked and checked out, um, not only all of the dire wolves, um, but some of these guys as well and bred up these guys and got the perfect male and female imprinted these guys. Not too bad. And also built up all this, but of course that was off camera, but it looks really nice. I will say I, I was admiring her a little, a little bit ago, but I, yeah, I think this has been episode 32. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, I greatly recommend subscribing and all that stuff. Leave me a like on the video. If you enjoyed it, um, you know, try to have for like 15 to 20 likes if possible. That would be epic. Um, but yeah, don't you worry. We're, we'll be doing some caving soon with these guys, most likely. And next episode, I want to tame some most likely Danisukas. So you will definitely see me on the back of these guys once they're uh, a little bit more healed. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, I don't mind letting them heal. But um, I'll, I'll be on the back of these guys in the swamps, most likely. Um, just, you know, taking out all the bad Danisukas. So we'll definitely be giving them a try right away. I'll tell you that right now. Right away, we'll be using them. Um, so don't you worry on that. They're very, very cool, though, I will say. And I'm happy that we got some melee mutation on two of them. But yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed it, greatly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, if you And we're right now, at the moment of me recording, 349 subscribers, one away from 350. And after 350, 375, you know, 400, 500 by the end of the year would be epic. But yeah, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to catch you episode 33. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm out of here. Later. Goodbye.